All right, guys, welcome here to Camp Race League. So, um, I think I've said a lot on this past week that Lambert Speedway weekend is this weekend. And, spoilers, I live in Georgia. Um, I am literally 10 minutes away from the racetrack. So, the last, what, since 2012, maybe, 2010-ish, I've gone to every single race weekend, excluding maybe 2012 and um, 2020, obviously. Um, so, also, I'm having to hold a camera right now because I'm doing this on my dashboard in my truck and it's not really one hold well. Um, but yeah, so I'm doing this as a little bit more of a full-on vlog here, and um, yeah, I'm a nice, well-dressed for the warm weather. Got my nice Byron jacket I bought um, back in September in Daytona, and I got, I went by the racetrack yesterday, and I bought this hat, and um, I bought some other stuff too, and William Byron will be appearing tomorrow again, so it's going to be very cool seeing that. Um, a little uncommon with my truck setup for stuff, usually I keep my race track gear right here. It's actually all behind me because before I go to the racetrack, I am actually going to be picking up my younger cousin, um, Will Bounds. Um, so the season 39 serial champion, he'll be joining me today, and um, this will be very cool. So I may not do a lot of vlogging, like talking. It'll probably just be like recording, going to some of the fan, fan zone areas, probably going to go see some of the drivers, and of course all the racing. So this is probably going to be an hour-long vlog, honestly, because that's usually just how I do them with doing the racing, and I put all the videos together, and I'm like, you know what? This is all perfect. Um, so, with, with that out of the way here, it's 9, 9.30 in the morning. Um, I said I was going to be there be at his house by 10, but yeah, I got ready very early. But anyway, let's go to get it going here, so that way I can um, start driving. Something funny, too, I figured I should mention. So, this tree's been down for probably two weeks now, and Dora really got a working chainsaw. It works well, so I haven't been able to cut it up. But yeah, so I believe I did a video um, on my bike track, which is still um, partially out right now. Um, I've been trying to, I've been meaning to do some races on them pretty soon, but it's like work stuff's a little harder right now. But yeah, this tree came down in front of basically part of one of the courses. So yeah, that's just something funny for the start of this vlog here.
We'll keep the trash bag for now. I can throw it later. So we have more trash. I just lost track where I'm trying to film these guys. There they are. We like that. We always root for our brand innovators. Champion Generator. Champion Generator. We met him at Talladega one time. He was coming to buy a camper. He gave me a real cover.
the Raptor King of Tough 250. Wow, so quick and already damaged cars. Cesar Paccarello having all that damage on the front of his car. Joey Gase, take a uh, look and you see uh, 53 totally passed. No, not totally passed. It. Just involved in it right at the very end. Thank you. 
going sideways and coming with other cars, collecting as he got uh, up on the fence right in front of our raw ball. And Jeb Burton, along with Josh Williams, I don't think they got a lot of damage. But, you know, when you're on the racetrack, you're saying, get it on again as we try to get a restart at Pace Car. This is the Pace Car along the road as we're about to race it right now.
win stage number two. I have a hard time believing we could restart this race. We're watching the replay as they work their way down the back straightaway. And right in mid-pack, oh, looks got like Josh Perry got into Justin Allgaier. Maybe somebody, it looks like maybe got into Perry out of shape, and then he got into his teammate. Yeah, it looked like they, they met in the middle. Uh, Justin was definitely coming up the racetrack. Josh crowding down just a little bit, and uh, left front fender of uh, Josh Berry to, to right rear of Justin Allgaier. And if that's what initiated that, that's been a theme this year with the Junior Motorsports cars getting into each other on the racetrack. And we heard that earlier. Brandon Jones said they'd had a team meeting. Hey, guys, we can't take each other out. But Barry contact initiated that. So in the first section, we have Brandon Jones that's going to come down here road giving up that third place.
am back here. So, um, I feel like I didn't do well with the vlog yesterday, honestly. Um, so yesterday, um, it was cold all day. Um, I know you're gonna see all the race replays for everything, but, um, I feel like I need to talk some about, some about that race too. Um, especially the uh, Xfinity race because I'll be honest, I'm thinking about what to say right now still a little bit. I'm still processing from last night after I left. You know, I love Atlanta Motor Speedway as a racetrack and everything, but NASCAR themselves need to look at themselves and be like, why the hell are we running a plate package on a mile and a half track that, um, because they could actually be running the cars without these plates on this track and have probably have a better race than what was the Xfinity race last night, which was basically the uh, what a stereotypical NASCAR, non-NASCAR fan thinks NASCAR is. Like, that was, in my opinion, excuse my French, an utter shit show um, that I witnessed yesterday. But, you know, I love the racetrack. I always support the racetrack and the drivers that I like. And also shout out to Josh Williams. That was actually very hilarious when he uh, walked out of the car. I didn't even realize he got parked over a little piece of debris flying off the car. Honestly, that's something I would have done if I was actually driving one of his cars got parked by NASCAR over something stupid like that. But, man, that NASCAR just needs to look at themselves after this weekend with Atlanta and be like, you know, we need to consider not running the restrictor plates on this track and just let, just let them go out there and have fun. I mean, it is a little narrower than the old Atlanta when they ran, ran without plates. I mean, it is a little narrower. It's a new pavement. But they, they still said that the bumps are still on the racetrack, so it's probably still going to, it's probably going to run better than when Kentucky got repaid, when Charlotte got repaid, it's probably going to run better. But, yeah, yesterday's race, um, so yeah, I did pick a Will. Um, I, I was thinking about being funny showing whenever I picked him up, but I never did, and, um, the reason why I didn't show Will much in yesterday is because, um, it was cold. I did get that one part before the truck race, I think, where I was going to be funny and do it, um, but... Yeah, it was, it was just very cold yesterday. I mean, it's going to be cold today, too. Um, I'm going to try to get some stuff at, from the track side area this morning um, before I go to the driver area because um, Kevin Harvick's going to be there. Hopefully, I can get his autograph in his final year um, on my Gravedigger 4 car. I bought Byron's Atlanta when it was at, on Friday, so I have that car, too, and I'm wearing my Byron stuff, so he'll probably come up to me. Or or, or they might actually go on the fan stage again because that would be hilarious. That, that did happen in July. And then, yeah, it's Bill Elliott, Richard Petty, and Jeff Gordon appearing at, like, 115. So, there, there are going to be some interesting drivers that are coming in. And I, hopefully, I'll get lucky with the last three. I think Bill Elliott will be most likely to sign. I don't think Gordon would or Richard Petty would. But, yeah, we'll see what happens there. And, um, yeah, part two here. Um, my uncle will be joining me in today's race, though. So, we'll probably not see much of my Uncle Billy Ace. Um, so, you know, we're doing that um, uh, Intertown 3 Series with the pre-PMR drivers. You got Billy Ace there. And, of course, you got Will Bounds is one of the current drivers I had in the stream, in his vlog. However... I'm going to probably do a proposal for the end of this video what I want to do in the summer race. I already kind of talked with Will about it. I want to do something interesting when I come to this race, and I want to bring Will and two other serial drivers to the racetrack here um, when it come, coming um, summertime, and I'll probably start planning that pretty soon. But anyway, let me go get to driving here. Let me get to the racetrack, and let's just hope that the cup race ain't going to be like what the Xfinity and Truck Race were yesterday. Oh, and before I start driving... Can someone please be Austin Hill on a plate track? At this rate, he's going to win every Xfinity race in the plate races this year. Talladega, he's going to sweep. He's going to sweep Atlanta in the summer. I can already feel it. And um, Daytona. You know, I almost also made a bet, too, that I would admit to my crush I have a crush on her someone could beat Austin Hill last night. Honestly, I still would have won the bet and not had to do it. But, yeah, that's, that's just how bad it was with Austin Hill dominating yesterday. Pro tip I've learned from coming to races, always park near one of these little gaps inside these types of parking areas. Might be a little far from the track, but you're close to where all the uh, good diecasts are over there. Alright, so I'm currently walking out holding this camera, probably very horribly while walking this small camera, but... Yeah, currently walking down to the racetrack, so I just did all my uh, last kind of diecast shopping through this tent I showed a moment ago. And um, yeah, I bought a good few more cars there. Um, so like I said, the, the legend driver appearances, like Elliot, Gordon, Petty, I did find a good Bill Elliott car. I gave him a sign. The, it's actually a Budweiser 11, which is one of the smaller ones. I also bought Larson's uh, 2021 championship car. There's a good few ones. Um, you know, I always do want to give a big thanks to those guys because I do appreciate when they come out because the diecast down here, they're overpriced. They are about, what, 15 bucks for a small car? Back then, you could obviously buy, like, three small, uh, the same cars for the same price. Of course, Lionel, also, they're horrible quality and only one makes certain cars does hurt as well. The only car I've really bought down here so far is actually Blaney's um, new 12 cars running today. 
Um, I'll probably show all the cars at the end of the video I bought here for the channel. Because <laughs> I know my diecast race, my diecast collection video got very popular on my channel. And, um, yeah, I need, I'm going to do an update on that, like, in the next year or so. Gonna kind of walk down the track, gonna hopefully meet Byron in a little bit. But yeah, just big thanks to me, me, mostly me, Motorsports. He's always here. Um, I think it's KK Diecast, and there's some other guys. I don't know their names, but yeah, definitely just very cool to see that. Um, gonna walk down to the racetrack here, go chill out for a little while. Because race ain't till 3, and it's only 11 a.m. right now. I like it, I like it. Hey, hope you guys have a great time. Thank you guys.
the spotter Coleman Presley, especially helping to orchestrate the opening start of this race. Once Logano dipped in front of Austin Sendrick, who is the outside all sitter, they picked up Ryan Blaney, and those three cars just plan on staying stuck together as long as they can out front. I'm taking a look at the replay. Bubba Wallace by himself in turn two. Something happened, and that car kind of turned.
part of the racetrack where you want to be hit. Kevin Harvick is exiting turns one and two. Probably when his race car is the lightest, and that's when Ross Chastain slammed in the back bumper. Another good shot right here.
turn into a Dale Jr. fan yet? I can't tell. Um, well, oh my gosh, that race kind of was crap. Um, I don't even know what to say about that one. Um, you know, um, what's unfortunate about this, because I had fun bringing Will here yesterday. This is probably the worst race weekend I've been to, um, ever. And I've been coming here for 10 years, personally. Well, excluding getting to see the Legend Drivers, and, um, I guess I could talk about that real quick before I, uh, drive off here and go home, because... Um, I did go to the fan stage, and I don't remember I talked about it, walking back to the track after I dropped cars off, I probably did it. Because I did buy a good few more cars, and I put, I basically came back and got all signed cars. So, Josh Berry, William Byron, Kev Harvick were all caught in his wrecks, they all three were there. Um, I nearly got Harvick's autogra autograph, but unfortunately, he had to go to some other, I guess, appearance, and he kind of, uh, just ran off right, right before getting to where I was. And I mean, he he was I think he was chill with signing autographs too today. Um, Josh Berry didn't have anything for him to sign, but I got the photo with him. William Byron, though, props to him, got the car signed. I was the last person that he was able to get a car signed too before he had to go. And um, yeah, I got the car signed, got the photo with him, and unfortunately he got wrecked out again. Man, that that really that really hurt. There, watching him wreck out there near the along with Harvick. It wasn't Chastain's fault either. I know they talk about like the air push stuff, which. It's kind of rare to happen, but I'm glad Chastain probably... Chastain might get crucified for that, but at least he won't be fully blamed for it. Um, my nose is also a little weird feeling right now. Just, like, I just feel like hard here, stuff like it's just where... I might have sunburn or just like windburn, whatever. I also unfortunately bought seats very close to the track for this race, too. But, yeah, so after the race, I'm going to have this whole ram go for me. Hopefully he doesn't try to do a monster truck move over my truck. Oh, he's about to. Um, So... Basically, you know, y'all y'all probably know my channel. I do not like Joey Logano. I kind of excluded from stuff. I was really not happy that he was easily able to dominate the whole race, which um, it, it made the race just feel very, like, boring to me, and I didn't really like it. And um, I, for real, was actually rooting for Kiesowski to win. I don't really like Kiesowski a lot. I was rooting for him to win. <laughs> I thought he was leading when I was recording, because I'll be honest, at the end of our recording, it probably going to look like crap with the end of the race, because there, there was a big glare in my face from the sun. I thought Bell was going to win too. It was like it was like they're all just on top of each other. And Lejoy came out of nowhere too. It was a crazy finish, I'll be honest. But man, it just it just really brings it down for me when Logano wins. And this, I mean, it just really capped off this whole race weekend too as being basically an utter shit show, like I said earlier today in the start of this vlog. But um, yeah. So I'm gonna actually shelf all the cars I got whenever I get home, and um, I guess I could go talk about the proposal I have real quick for the summer race I want to do. So. July weekend, I am still 100% planning on going. Um, it's two night races, so the Saturday race, Sunday race. I will go Saturday race, and um, I will debate if I do want to bring someone with me. The Sunday race, though, is where I have the plans for what I want to do. Um, I might flip a flop them depending on ticket prices, though. Um, but I want to basically, I want to do like some like bringing more CRL drivers. Um, will Bounds will be included because he was here um, in this one. And I'll make sure this, this vlog, too, has a lot, has him a lot, all three of these drivers I plan, I want to bring a lot, featured a lot more. Um, yeah, Will Bounds is one of them. Uh, Jalen Bounds and her, her, um, Will's sister I will bring, because she, she actually was a Jimmy Johnson fan when he was racist, so it would be very cool to bring her. Um, and then Jace Turner. Jace Turner is going to probably be a little bit of a deal, because he lives a little further away from where I am, and it's going to, it's going to be a, a good bit of planning to figure out how to get him. Probably have to spend the night at my house, too, and all this as well. And um, his, as long as his mom's okay, I think it'll be okay. Could do Jalen Turner, but it be the same kind of thing, too. But, yeah, we'll see how that goes. That's really just my proposal for that race weekend. Heck, they might be watching this vlog here. And um, do apologize for any cussing. I don't really try to cuss long on YouTube. But, yeah, I'll do it for this here. Um, I did buy a lot of cars. I will show the assigned cars I got. Oh, um, with the Legend Drivers. Richard Petty, Bill Elliott, Jeff Gordon. I got one of the three. It was not Bill. It was not Richard. It was Jeff. And, um... Props to him too, because they they had to go golf cart go into the like the fan area in front of where I was, and um, he's he still came out and signed signed a lot of his stuff, and um, I definitely do. It, it was very cool. I got a photo in front of him. If there's a way for me to put photos in the videos, I will actually like show like w like basically like some of the drivers I met because I really don't record them because I feel like it'd be weird trying to record me get photos and pictures with them at the same time. If I had a camera person, I could do that, but yeah, I don't feel like paying anyone to be a camera person or if they want to do it for free, but then of course you have to get more tickets, but yeah, it was Prof. Jeff Gordon, William Byron, both the 24 drivers signed, or only wants to sign stuff for me, and I think that's very cool, I do respect for him, hey, all guy would have probably signed something for me, the 7 car yesterday if I was able to get to him, that'll do it for this part here, I want to go start driving, get home, I, uh, I need to protest my mom on the way home, and my music's not playing on the truck right now. 
But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get going here, and um, yeah, we'll go ahead and end off the video showing off all the add-ons, a good few Gen 4 cars I found, and a lot of old cars that'll probably never be opened up, well, definitely not opened up ever, added on. And I found another 1640, you know, that came out, actually, funny enough, and I got the 75th anniversary car and a program car I'll show off, too. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get that going. Alright, so this is going to be the end part of the vlog here. It may not be try to be too loud in this here, but... Yes, yeah, so like I said, I was going to go over all the cars I got here, just kind of give a little look over them. So, I believe I've gotten every car that I've gotten this weekend. I'm the only one with exclude from this because I wanted to show the signed cars I got. It is actually the Jeff Gordon 24 there, which we'll go over those two at the end. Um, so yeah, here's all the new cars and, oh, a new license plates for my truck that I hopefully won't get ripped in a car wash um, right there. And um, yeah, so let's just take a quick look here. So... I did go to the old tents, and I did a lot of this today, actually, and what really sucks, I'm probably going to eBay and look for trucks for the future riding truck series season as planned for 2024, or one of the old school trucks. But yeah, I did get Dale Jr.'s one Coca-Cola scheme. Also, sorry, I had all the cars like this, so it would be easier to look at. And I, if the camera of this look weird, I was trying to show them, I do apologize. And a lot of these cars may not be unboxed, um, I'm going to probably put a lot of these in the attic. Um, I will say which ones will, will be unboxed, though. But yeah, Dale Jr.'s one car. And I got Dale Sears, his old uh, three Wrangler scheme. I'm pretty sure it's a junior who drove the one race. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah, Dale Sears, Wrangler car. Um, I bought two of these because one of these will be unboxed, one that will not be. This is Dale Jr.'s Neil Wafer's car. He probably would have ran as a Daytona race one year. Um, this eight car, I believe this is probably Hut Strickland. Um, it actually doesn't say the driver name on Oh, I can't really read the driver name. And, um, it doesn't say the name of the driver on this box, unfortunately. Oh, it does. It is Hutt Strickland. Okay, I was just reading it wrong. Um, would have been corrected there. Definitely really bad if someone's watching of this. Um, Bill Ellis number 9. This is a better version than the 9 I currently have. Um, Gordon's 24, the Rainbow Warrior version. I finally have a version of this 25. I've, actually, I may already, ha already have one. I probably forgot. It's probably in the attic. Um, this 27 car. Casey Atwood's car. I don't think I've ever gotten this. I got a better version of Sterling Marlin's 40 with still the Marlin on it because they've never really made cores like cars, or I don't think they have. Um, this is Kenny Wallace's 55 square D car. I've always wanted one of these cars. I just wasn't sure if I wanted to do it on eBay or wait for find one at the racetrack. Talk about 966 cars this is a random car I chose to help get some of these cars, actually. Uh, Stacey Compton's 92. Um, I was going to get one of those on eBay, but they were pretty pricey, and I would have rather probably gotten the actual sponsor Kodak instead of this, or, well, the uh, tobacco sponsor Kodak, whatever it was, I think. Um, LA's 94, I bought this. Almost, almost got him signing it, actually. Um, the Tim Flocks 300 car. This is actually a very interesting tribute car I found. Um, definitely going to stay in the box um, for a long time. Um, and so some of the other ones for us, a few next gens um, that will likely be in year-long format races, or in a future next gen season for diecast racing and some other cool gen four cars as well. Chastain's one car, Dale Earnhardt's Oreo scheme, and if I'm correct, this might have ran in um, his final speed weeks. I don't remember when the Oreo car actually ran um, at Daytona, um, but I'm, it's very I'm very glad I got that car. I saw it yesterday and didn't get it, then I saw it today and I was glad I was there. I got Dale Jr.'s late model. He had come out. Chase LA 7 trucks. Of course, Chase LA truck would come out. All guys. Dirty Mo car. And Corey LaJoy 7. And man, Corey LaJoy almost won that race. Um, then I got LA's Patriotic. This was a car that had for Bill Elliott to sign. He did not sign, by the way. Um, I just found it today. Blaney's Body on Car he ran today, which this is probably one of my favorite schemes. Will Bells will definitely appear in this in your long format somewhere. Um, this is an interesting one. It's an underdog 13 car. Another Xfinity underdog that probably would never be used in the Xfinity series. Um, Ryan Price is 15 when he ran to 15 last year. Got that car because it's a random Rick Ware car. And this car just came out this past week. Christopher Bell's Yahoo scheme, which I'm surprised the racetrack even had. Um, Ken Strader's uh, Budweiser 25, so I got two new Budweiser cars. And two racing legends. There's one more down here, too. Uh, Curtis Turner's, I guess, he might ran 26 first. I don't remember. Um, then Dan Gurney is 20. I thought it was um, Fred Lorenzen. This 20 Davy Allison car, which the box is actually... It literally just now broke. This is like very old plastic, but surprisingly, these, these are not breaking easily or crumpling. Um, Curtis Turner's 41 right here. This is, um, so I got two Curtis Turner um, Legend cars that will likely never be unboxed. I actually have another one. It's a uh, Paul Goldsmith is over here somewhere. Actually, I'm looking at it right now for my view. Um, Greg Biffle's, Biffle's 44. I got Dick Trickle in the number 90. Um, yeah, definitely the best racing name ever. Uh, but yeah, this is Biffle's. Um, I don't. I don't remember when he ran his car. Might have been Daytona. This might actually been his Atlanta car last year. I don't remember. Um, but yeah, I got Kimi Rack in his 99 car. Probably should have gotten two of these. I do want to unbox one of these used for racing in the future. If I do have someone 91 car. 
but definitely very cool. I got it. And here's NASCAR's anniversary car, and I decided to get a program car today too. Of course, my license plate, Jimmy Johnson, who was my all-time favorite, I got his, and I got my current all my current favorite, William Byron's. They got Larson Championship car. So I was surprised the car actually wasn't a lot of money because it was actually just the one with that on and not the race version. But then we get to these cars here, so I'll move them a little bit to be closer to the camera. So these are the cars that got signed. Um, Jeff Gordon probably did a little, little quick signature over there. But I, I do like that he did sign this 24 car. I believe I bought this one um, in the antique store probably last year at Lambert Speedway. They, of course, buy this car. You can barely see it. But what's pretty crazy is I can probably pull this up on my um, on my phone because I screenshotted this real quick, maybe show on the camera. But Byron, they posted on the Byron story, and um, you know what's funny? This is this is the same 24 car that's in that photo. This is literally that, that car. So even though I was upset when I got home from the end of that race, I was definitely very happy to see that this, this did appear in the story. And I'll see if there's anything else I might somehow appear in um, on anything. How do I have three viewers on this um this Instagram story? It's probably on Facebook. I'm I'm looking at it while talking, by the way. Um, but man, that was definitely definitely very cool. I, I appeared in that story with this car. But that'll do for the vlog here. So like I said, um, I will be planning um the summer the summer race weekend for what I'm going to do with everything. And yeah, that'll do it. I just realized how kind of burnt I am to a little bit. Probably wind burned a good bit from the racetrack this weekend. But that'll do it here for the video. Thank and thank y'all for watching this vlog if y'all do. And definitely. Props to a Mean Motorsports, um, all the guys who do those tents, those sell tents and those uh, die casts of those tents. Um, props to Jeff Gordon and William Byron, and yeah, def definitely really sucks that I couldn't get anyone else to sign, but definitely props to them too for doing this. And these cars are definitely gonna be special in the collection here that I have. And um, yeah, I'll do it for the, the vlog here. Um, I'm also sitting where I'm beginning Caleville Raceway setup probably tomorrow um, because that I means eight o'clock right now and. Um, I gotta find out where I'm gonna put put get a few of these cars before they go into the attic because I gotta move stuff to get into my attic. But yeah, well, I'll go in off video here. This vlog will probably be out Monday night ish or sometime this upcoming week. Thank y'all for watching. It is the Kill Kill Cameras Lee signing out, and I will see y'all next time. Oh yeah, we're sleeping on the the Byron flag for sure too. Forgot to put this in the end of the video.